Hi, this is a super quick tu tutorial to get you started with Mozilla Hubs on Oculus Quest. The first thing you want to do is go to your browser and enter in hubs.mozilla.com. You can also do that directly clicking on the link that has been sent to you, or once you reach hubs.mozilla.com, you can go to the bottom and select you have a room code. You can insert that code directly here and be directed toward the, 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 your uh, end destination. In this case, we're going to select one of my favorite room, uh, the uh, tutorial for the you are for the quest. Here, you have to wait that all the scenes will be loaded. And once that is done, you, you have the chance to enter the room. You can enter the room, check that your microphone is actually working. And uh, if you're not logged in, you also have the chance to customize your name and your avatar. You then enter the room. Moving uh, on VR is very easy. With your right thumb stick, you can rotate 45 degrees and you can teleport using the trigger. You can also move with your left thumb stick, left, right, forward or backwards. If you don't have a Quest and you have another VR headset, I added a link here to direct you to the uh, corresponding controls. Let's go there to the end of this path. And you see that with the uh, uh, B and the Y button, you can actually have contextual menu opening. You can, for example, pointing at 3D object and see like this box bigger. And the same for other objects that are basically uh, in the scene. With the same contextual menu, you can also, uh, with the uh, A or the X button, you can also open uh, the contextual menu. And in this case, uh, this um, I want to show you how you can teleport to other region of the uh, of the scene. In this case, using the waypoint. Waypoint are those one with those icon, uh, like the one I'm pointing at. And if you, while you hold the button, push the trigger, you get to teleport to that specific location. Here I am. In this case, scale bigger, but I can go back, pushing the uh, pushing the button on the quest, and I'm here. Another very cool feature that your, uh, the host of your room might have set up are spawners. Spawners allow you to grab an infinite amount of objects. In this case, like this you. You can grab the object using the grab button. And then object can be moved very easily. Just using the pointer and the grab can be moved forward, uh, uh, further away or closer. And once they are closer, you can also grab them and move them in all direction as well as scale them while uh, holding them with two hands. In this case, let's try just to put it in the right uh, position to put it um, to finish this hub right. So once you are there and you have more or less the right position, you can basically, uh, let's say, here we go. And then with the rotate and scale, even if they, were, they are far away. And that's basically it about object. Now, what are some of the great things that you can do, for example, is also add your own items inside the scene. In this case, you look up, you'll get the menu uh, popping down, and then you can push create. Here you get prompted to basically uh, explore, and you can also search your own object as well as internally inserting your custom URL or file. In this case, we will look for a type. Fighter. Here we go. We got the object, and that is automatically imported into the scene. Like before, we can uh, we can slightly rotate it and scale it how as big as we want, and then we position it in place. Other thing is that still with your uh, with the menu on your left controller, the menu button on your left controller, you get prompted to enter here, where you can change your avatars, but also you can also add text element into the scene. For example, a comment in this case. If you write, if you click on the magic wand, that item is basically directly imported into the scene. You can again scale it and put it wherever you want. Lastly, there is a very, uh, very handy feature that is the ability to draw. When you draw, you see there, you can see that you can scale in size, moving up and down the thumbstick, as well as color. Well, in this case, you can do some pretty 
amazing drawing in 3D. And those are some of the basic features to get you started on the quest uh, with Mozilla Hubs. Have fun, join with friends and create some incredible scenes. Bye bye.